So in this video, I'm going to show how to upload a new data set for processing in Trimble Stratus. So after you have your site already created, um, you're going to go up to the data processing tab and click create a new data set. And it'll show you a list um, here of your site. So you're going to go down, you're going to find the uh, job site that you want to go to and pick it. And then you're going to choose survey and hit next. So it's going to say choose files to upload here. So it's looking for your JPEG files and your PPK data. So what you want to do is browse over to your memory card that came from the drone and you're going to go into the survey folder and find the folder that was created on the day that you did the flight. So if you open it up, you'll see all the JPEGs are here and at the bottom are my PPK uh, timestamps and raw data. So what I do is I usually just drag this in. You can select the photos one at a time or by shift select or however you want to do it. But I usually just drag the whole folder in and it'll tell you up here that a few files were not added, which it just didn't need a couple of those files. So what we do is just scroll down and we're going to double check and make sure that everything looks properly here and scroll down a little further. And you can see that the file validation, um, everything should look like this. You could possibly get some errors here if you have some motion blur or um, high ISO, but in a, in a perfect flight, you're going to see all your checks passed. So hit next. And then it's going to ask for the data set name. And I usually just keep this the same. So um, just hit next. If you want to change the name of it, you could. But I like to just keep the date. And in this case, we're going to do the arrow points and CSV. So I'm going to choose arrow points and CSV. And then scroll down to choose your arrow point flight. So it's going to ask you... Um, which flight you want to use. So just go ahead and choose the one that you need. And then it's going to ask you for the arrow point that you use as a benchmark. So in this case, I only used one arrow point and that's the one that I want to use. So I can just choose it. And then right here, I can enter in the data for that arrow point. So in this case, I, I put this down on the ground and I shot this with my GPS rover and I got the northing easting elevation from the top of the arrow point. So you can go from the top of the arrow point. If you put it over a control point, it's a something that's in the ground. You can choose ground. But in this case, I shot the top of the arrow point and I was in U.S. survey feet. And then in here, I'm going to key in the northing, the easting and the elevation. So I'm going to copy and paste the northing, the easting, and the elevation here from a file that I have on my computer. So I'm just going to copy and paste these in. It's better to copy and paste them just so you don't make any errors when you're typing them in, just to make sure. So this is from my control file where I saved the arrow point that I shot. So I put those three in there. And I can leave everything the same. You don't have to do anything here and just hit save. Okay, so the next page is going to say add the CSV file. So here is where you're going to add your checkpoints that you took so that you can make this make sure the surface uh, comes back okay. So I have a CSV in my data collector that I exported and I'm going to open that up um, to that folder and drag that in. So from my USB stick or on my controller, I have the CSV and I'm just going to drag it in. And it's going to ask me to set up the header rows. So these are my uh, ID. This is my northing. This is my easting. And this is my elevation. And if I need here, I could just put in purpose. If you have a description, if you don't, you could just leave it blank and scroll down. So I have 16 checkpoints. You can see they all loaded in correctly. So it shows me here is point number one is my known point, my arrow point. So these here, these checkpoints. So I, I actually want to use these as checks and not 
control points. So I'm going to uncheck these because these aren't really control. These are just checkpoints for my surface. So I want to just, you can see that it says slide this, uncheck it if you want to use it as a checkpoint. So I don't want to use these as control. I just want these as surface checks and I'm going to leave it looking just like that. And then it has any comments about your ground control points. You can put something in here um, if you need to describe anything there. So just hit next. And the next thing is going to be your elevation filter. So um, nine times out of 10, you're going to say, yes, you do want to use a filter. So this is going to take out any trees, um, equipment, buildings, anything like that. So um, depending on what you want to take out. So I typically go with the equipment and vegetation you could take out structures if you have structures on there um, everything is is um, going to take out even if you have stockpiles on there so i if you have stockpiles on the site you probably don't want to use this but i've had good success with just equipment vegetation and here it's going to show um you know what kind of outputs you're going to get here so i use my business center software so i want to grab this and say i want a ttm surface if it's available so i'm going to make it available and then hit next and it's basically going to just give you an overview of what you're doing so it's telling you how many fo photos you took um, how it's going to be set up you got um, your 15 control points my ground control points and it's going to just ask me if I have any uh, credits to use so I can just go ahead and hit submit and it's going to start counting down with the um, how long it's going to take for this to go through so typically uh, a data set like this might take you know 15 20 minutes the larger data sets are going to take a little bit longer but once you see this then you know that your data set is going to be uploading